Half a day, Jan Manana Sijuus. It is indeed my honor to be here today for this occasion. It's part of a very powerful movement, and as we heard at the recent conference on decolonization, it's part of a movement that is 350 million people strong around the world. So, what we're going to do today is honor the indigenous people of the Marianas, the Chamorros, who have been here for at least 4,000 years, having a deep, deep history and connection to the island. And for the rest of us, what this means is, it is here that Imanau Talmotna, these ancestors of the Chamorro people, became uniquely Chamorro. Their language became uniquely their own. They became uniquely connected to the land. The land shaped them, and they have shaped the land. It is that deep metaphysical connection, spiritual, cultural, and otherwise, to the land. And the rest of us may not fully understand that, but it is our responsibility to, to work to understand it to learn about it, and more than anything else, to respect it. So I'm kind of getting started on things, and I really should be introducing everybody here. Um, so I want to thank the speaker, uh, Tina Rose Munya Barnes, for being here this morning. I know that these are issues that she cares very much about. And we have many dignitaries that are here, and everybody who is here, they are here because they care about this issue, and it means so much to them. And so I hope that this is an opportunity to help the rest of the community, Chamorros and, and those of the rest of us that have made this our island home, understand the, the issues that they want to bring to the forefront. So here we have several members from the Commission Nifino tomorrow. We have uh, Dr. Laura Souter. We have uh, Senora Teresita Flores. We have the chair, Gehilu Hope Cristobal. We have the Department of Tomorrow Affairs, Mas Gehilu Amari Arceo. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, we have Kaha which uh, is a wonderful humanities organization. They support the artists and the community on both indigenous arts, but also the larger community arts. We have the Commission on Decolonization, the executive director, uh, Mel Wampat Borja, and uh, so many others that uh, we're very honored to, to have. And we'll be calling you up later and, and allowing you to as I mentioned, uh, speak for a few minutes if you would so desire, but uh, at least come up and, and have a photo together, uh, all together. So if I could call up uh, Mas Gehulu Anne-Marie and Gehulu Hope to come and receive the resolution on behalf of the indigenous people of Wahan. And uh, both the speaker and myself shall read the resolution. I'll give it to uh, you to hold. Now this resolution, I'm sure it would receive support from the entire body of the legislature. They have been very good about recognizing the indigenous people of Guam and the Marianas and uh, working towards supporting their rights and making sure that they're recognized by the community and in law. What we did though for this particular resolution is we had it su supported by the four senators that are connected with the Commission on Decolonization. Um, it seemed like there was a very good connection there. Relative to recognizing the observance of Indigenous Peoples Day, it will be on October 14th, 2019, but we are working to have it recognized as uh, an entire month. Um, and certainly this is actually the year of the Indigenous languages. 
So as I mentioned before, this is a worldwide movement, and there's so much to recognize and appreciate about Indigenous peoples and their contributions, and to understanding their place in this world and respecting it. So this resolution is inviting our island community to celebrate Indigenous knowledge, cultures, life ways, and practices on Guahan and throughout the world, which significantly contribute to the world's richness, diversity, health, and well-being. Be it resolved by the Committee on Rules of E. Minatrentai Cinco Na Legislatura in Guahan, whereas celebrations of indigenous cultures remind our community about the importance of respecting and promoting the inherent rights of indigenous peoples regarding their political, economic, and social structures, their cultures, spiritual traditions, languages, philosophies, life ways, and traditions, and especially their rights to their lands, territories, and resources. Moreover, we remember and commemorate that indigenous cultural values have persevered through numerous challenges from ancient times into the present day. Indigenous Peoples Day brings community awareness of the historical value and rich cultural practices of indigenous communities around the globe as stewards of the land and the resources that they have inherited from those who came before them. Indigenous Peoples Day further provides an opportunity to recognize and celebrate their significant contributions to humanity. As affirmed by the United Nations, indigenous peoples are equal to all other peoples and have the right to be free from any kind of discrimination in the exercise of their rights. In particular, those based on their indigenous origin or identity and are recognized to possess collective rights which are indispensable for their existence, well-being, and integral development as peoples. Indigenous peoples have the right to the lands, territories, and resources which they have traditionally owned, occupied, or otherwise used or acquired, and have the right to the conservation and protection of the environment and the productive capacity of their lands or territories and resources. Respect for indigenous knowledge, cultures, and traditional practices contribute to sustainable and equitable development and proper management of the environment. Senator Kelly Marsh, but more importantly, so do all you VIPs that are here. Also at this time, with the permission of Senator Marsh Titano, as she had made some introductions to the names and the movers and shakers for advocating for who we are as Chamorros. I'd like for you, please, to come up, Dr. Sauter and to Terry, Jackie. Now, please come up and join us. Robert Celestro from the uh, Pacific Association of Radiation Survivors, please come up and join us. Um, before I read the final uh, clauses and the whereas uh, with Senator uh, Marsh Taichino and of course the rest of the members of our 35th Guam legislature, it is only fitting, it is only fitting that we continue to tell our people of Guam and those who are listening from around the world that we, as indigenous people of the land, should be literally cared for, loved for, nourished, and nurtured. More importantly, as we continue to advocate for everything that is Guam, it is presentations like this that will continue to bring the issues to the forefront. To all the leaders up here who've made it a passion and a commitment to work from the heart and to give a lot of their time, 
and working closely with my vice chair as the speaker of the Mina 35 in the Latour in Guahan, Banadol Suhit. I am very proud. So with that being said, I will continue on. Whereas indigenous peoples have the right to maintain and strengthen the distinctive spiritual relationship with their traditionally owned or otherwise occupied and used lands, territories, waters, and coastal seas, and other resources to uphold their responsibilities to future generations in this regard. And whereas considered one of the largest human rights movements ever, 350 million people strong all around the world, indigenous people are organizing themselves for political, economic, social, and cultural enhancement, and in order to bring an end to and end all forms of discrimination and oppression where they occur, to self-determine, to continue to protect and defend that which they deem as sacred, and to promote and perpetuate ancestral practices and their intangible and tangible cultural heritage the future generation for future generations now therefore be it resolved that the committee of rules of imina trentai sinkuna leslatur and guahan does hereby on behalf of leslatur and guahan and our people of guam recognize the observance of indigenous peoples day on october 14 2019 and invite our island community to celebrate indigenous knowledge, cultures, life ways, and practices on Guam and throughout the world, which significantly contributes to the world's richness, diversity, health, and well-being. Senator Marsh, it's a great honor for you to please close. Sainama Asi, speaker. So, Chamorros are part of one of the largest language families in the world. They are part of the Austronesian language family. This stretches all the way from Madagascar to Rapa Nui, or Easter Island. And it covers just massive amounts of people and lands all within it. And together they share those ancestral roots. And you can still see them today as people gather together and share amongst each other and work to support each other. They still find those cultural practices that they, they carry out. They still have those words that are either exactly the same or they're very similar and you can see it. I was just talking to somebody from uh, Bali recently, and we were talking about the word guma and how they have that. I was talking, one of my classmates was from Sulawesi, and they still use the word uh, katupat for the rice that's cooked in the leaves. So those connections are just beautiful and powerful, and they really speak to the depth of the ancestry of the Chamorro people. They were one of the first peoples to venture out into the Pacific. They have one of the oldest connections to the land. They have just this unique set of cultural ways and, as I mentioned, the language that are uniquely their own in this world. And so for the rest of us, myself who's grown up here, I've always appreciated being here, but it's an important journey to understand that it is an indigenous homeland and what that means and how we need to learn to respect that. So again, it's very much my honor to be part of this journey in helping the community, the larger community, and maybe even the world, understand the importance of the indigenous connection of tomorrows to their homeland and that we are indeed in a homeland. So I will pass the mic on to others um, because I know that they have some important things to share. Saina Ma'asi to everyone for being here today.
sen dankelu nesse duas maasis in der Marstaiten no sen hagloki speaker Tina Munya Barnes ni estina honra para itau tau taguini lo mas ha nana ihit na balua ni para itodi tau tau gimundo mauli kestina ha ani perta celebra ahi put ti hard hit na put hard hit para it Tano zan para imundo mega contribution ma fatugi ni ni man sa mo Rusia zan debiha di tarikong nisa na guaha magahit rason na mangaygihit gini na tano zan guaha rason ni mas donklu man manaihit ni i fumatinasit gini na tano zan debi di tahasu na no tahasu stisya na tinago Zan itinem tum, zan iparatatso gisia ni man mamaila. Pues hami gi komisyon ni Fino Tsamoru magahit na in aatan to di mamanda gi za hami ni ginin ilay, ginin i speaker, ginin tiyempo si speaker Judy Wampa na ni hafatina si stinalay, hafit ma si Governor Calvo. Pues este komisyon para dos anos mamaila. Lo bula tetsu, bula praman matsogui, zan magahe, no malag, put no bay malefa sa u ripara gini gi resolution na put i saluta este. Put i saluta gi hinasota, gi i titanosta, put i salut tatautauta, zan mungahe loke man malefa ne zi man aamti sa ti i amut ha aamti, lo guaha spirituat gini, Debi do sasono, the utungo ha nagagisti si speaker Tina Munya Barnes to di tempo ha ha angongo ko esti na tal na fafamta mo na ihinanauta zatan na latadung zatan na diduk i spiritual ta sa eno na manggagihit gini para ta continue mo na i likfino Senator Kelly Marsh tayto no. I isot a metaphysical part i isot a existence. Pues donklo na si Jesus masig nin todo hamig i komisyon Senator Kelly Marsh tayto no. Hago lo ko speaker. Zan todo hamzo ni man aturidad ni fit mas din na resolusyon. Pwede ha magawa ito na famta mo na i todo i minenhalum itinemtum Zan iti ningo iman sa moro para todo di mundo. Si Diyos Masi. Si Diyos Masi. Senadora Marsh, talo si Diyos Masi para todo si Zan speaker. I've never felt so cradled by people that can move things that are on the same page. Um... Matui ora esta mani na tiempo esti para guau sa hagas zan mega anis te perawa zan toru di mangagi guini matui ora para ta tutuhan komo setsa i hagas te sota esta ta titifi pagu i fruta magahit pagu na tiempo sa staba kalan mama kat mahago ulu zan mama kat para marega sa tinang abono lo pagu Esta hu lili na todo do man man rega de esta tatututu na sa man mama sa fruta ni para tatifi sa todo si man uno pago sinyo shanti ano then kumu hagas pot gunzo esta matu i oran na uri papara na aam sa sumasa na zo pago the puti then para bed meeting sa hagas pot gunzo lo Esta hu tututun lumii na debiti be fama sa sina loko isa esta tututun esta na dot ni nasita be hu tuli ano na puesto be tutuhon sumuli ano na puesto para be ata ni mas donklo na literatu and so in this season is so sweet for me to see that all the years of this longing to promote, to preserve, to, to just do all that is tomorrow is now becoming, for lack of word in my mind right now, popular. 
it's becoming a popular thing. We're not just a dot. When I was 27 and the Tomorrow Language Commission director way back then, um, I was like a dot in the government of Guam. I had like three staff members and we were a tiny, you know, nobody really paid attention to us until it was Mes Tsumoru. And then now it's time to celebrate and dance and weave, you know, and so uh, in those days, the deeper longing to, to bring this forward uh, uh, was, it was very lonely. It was a lonely place to be. But today I see that we can now, the harvest is coming and we're all on the same page. We all understand where we need to go and this day to celebrate this day marks a time in our lives and for our children that we can finally say that we can promise that we're going to pass on to them something that we could leave with them that we know we can, we can leave this world tomorrow. <clears throat> Us all up here and know that we've left something behind for them because that was a very, very uh, uh, doubtful thing in my mind years ago, you know, whether we could do it. There's only so many people doing it, but I see now that even our senators, even our governor and lieutenant governor want this so bad. So I know some point after we sort through all the disagreement and all the craziness, we're going to get there. But at the end, we all want the same thing. Right, Mel? We all want the same thing. To my sister here is always right by our side. She's an unsung hero. Jackie, she runs Kaha, but she does so much, you know, behind the scenes. And so, because your work connects us all, really. It's the way that our young people are, it's a tool that they're using to connect to, having an identity without the language, you know, and without really knowing. And so, we have to stay together and keep working. Okay? Manielu. Sisus Masi. Speaker, then Senator Taitano. In that I have no issue in the opportunity dot, ni e commission finutamoro para Ben Fangai Giguini, in Sen Agradesi. Sisus Masi. Uh, I can say that was, what was said was said very, very loud and clearly said, and it was, everything was covered as far as what we have to say. But I would also like to add this, and that although on the 14th is the day of the indigenous people, and that will be Tautautanu Itzamoru Sia, let it be every day is the day of the Tautautanu, and not just on the 14th of this month. I do appreciate it in the Nisan Ilehislatura, no estesia, naninai, na quentus, and inadingan sia, who said na ihamzi todu, donkulu na agadesementu, who gagigi corazon no arm, and a in the CBE invitation, ginin as a senator. Mars Titano, Ilek Nazangin Guapo for Bord Lugat Mizu Fan Motu, Zanginti Para U in Stotba, I Ha Anin Mizu. Of course, she wrote it in English, and I'm saying this in Zamoro. And then when we were seated earlier, she announced that we can go ahead and say something, and I really do appreciate that. So I looked at law and say, well, we didn't really prepare, so guess what? The best thing to do is say what's in your heart. That's the best way to go. Again, don't kululu na sizus maasi para todos. Hamzu.
I too echo the, the thanks to both of you, to all of you who continue to support us. I hate putting my back to you, but I know that I have to speak forward. Na baninusa, untungwa na hagasa taig bizo no guini mafatat zo kada onyo lo para si Santa Maria ng Camelin lo, anay mumahalang zo anay taig bizo guini. Ututuhun ko manta i fanogit sa moro. Para be na klaro gi kurason ho sa ni hinasoko na manmet good hit na tautagui. We have been a colonized people for 500 years. Senator Kelly, you talked about all of the sisters and brothers that we share language and heritage with. Um, and we often forget who we are. Lo man tau tau tano an tasi hit. Hita ni man tau tau tano debirita tanda edzu i shinentin kalakas put i i idota indigeneity. We are an indigenous people. We come packaged in different ways because of our genetic mescla, right? So some of us are light, some of us are dark, a lot of us are in between. Yesterday, I, I had the privilege to visit a second grade class at uh, Aganya Heights Elementary School. Utungo hafa kumekiling niya i manana si Zuu Saina. E zizar anak kloro rugwe. Pues leku hafa kumekiling niya eno. Le niya put i grashen Zuus. Leku hunkan put i grashen Zuus. Hafa anak ihit si Zuus le niya. I taimanon sangan don gifinud sa moro. But she had the idea that when you say manana si Zuz, you are calling on the blessings of the dawn, of the light. And so uh, it was really revealing. And I said, Hati Hamzu, Koman Samoro Hamzu, the Kat Satodu Saman Samoro, Pues Leku, Koman Famagun Samoro Hamzu, Hati Hamzu, and Mafaisin Hamzu, Hati Hamzu, Songan. Man tau tau tano ham, hita ni man au tau tano zan tasi, zan akloro zan samu malelifa, pos ma prometi zu na tiu man tiu fan malefa ni eno. Lo, this day symbolizes a lot for all of us who are standing here. Yeah, we've worked hard. Anne Marie, you're right. We all have to be warriors, and so warriors have a call. And we have a beautiful call when we sing our national anthem, our anthem of nationhood. Fanogi tsamoru purita nota. Thank you. Sijus Masi, tselu. Tonkluna Sijus Masi, si Robert Namulik, Celestia, Tata Familia and Rara. I uh, want to thank the good Senator Taitanu and uh, my prima, the speaker, uh, Tina Rose Munya Barnes. I was at the Sheraton a couple of weeks ago and I watched uh, the, the days of uh, the Puerto Rico, Australia, and different, and Hawaii express their indigenous uh, quest for self determination. And as I sat there for days watching and listening, uh, it dawned on me that there was a day called the Indigenous People's Day, and so it was really never recognized here in the island of Guam. And so I did a little bit of research and found out in 1977, a group of nations, indigenous people, went before the United Nations and presented it, and it was adopted. And from 1977, it went to 1992 in Berkeley, California, where the Native Americans declared 
and they took away Columbus Day and made it Indigenous People Day. So I said, Guahu, Tsamoru, Itano, Itsamoru, Gagyo, Guinea, Slotta, Sofa, Tima, Timana, Prebesti, Parahita, Tauta Guam. Because I said, Peso Organ, see Mr. Lohan, Peso Faisen, why don't we have Chamorro Indigenous Peoples Day? And that's when he gathered all my brothers and sisters because what I've seen, and I hope I don't offend anybody, is that in the past we've seen fragments of the seafarers, Young Men's League of Guam, Chamorro Tribe, Chamorro Nation, Hagan Famala, and all of these great organizations that have the, the heart to do what's right for the people of Guam. But what I saw in the vision is that, yes, we have all the cultures and, and all the right visions for their different areas, but what we don't have is a house to house each and every one of them. So my vision is that in the future, this day is the beginning of what's going to really promote the indigenous people of Guam. Is because what I've seen, and even in the march over there, is for self-determination, is that Congress has adopted a distinction of who is the native inhabitants. And they've grouped the Filipinos and the Spanish and the Koreans and Japanese and said, you are the native inhabitants of Guam. But I said, yes, but we, the Chamorros, are the indigenous people of Guam. Nobody has to give us a distinction. We are the people of Guam. So we need to stand up and say, he's going to the United Nations, the good senators going to the United Nations, stand up and speak for our people, for the indigenous people of Guam, not for the distinction of what America has said in Congress and said, okay, native inhabitants, these are who you are. I don't believe in that. I am a separate the Filipinos, my father, they have independence. Palau has independence. Marshall Islands have independence. We are an unincorporated territory. We don't have the right to vote for president of the United States. Where is the freedom there? I served in the military. My wife served in the military. My daughter served in the military. But see, what I've heard is that why do we separate that we are American and Chamorro and one is better than the other when it shouldn't be. I'm a proud American. I'm a proud Chamorro. And I hate to hear when people say, I am a this and that and this and that. I am both. I served and I lived and I'm born and raised in this island. And I want the people of Guam to understand that we are the indigenous people of Guam. And if you have come here and made your home, then we accept you. We love you. We have the best hospitality in the world. But please respect us as the people of the land of Guam. Sisus Masi. Sign Maasi to everyone here, Pera and now. The statements that everybody was saying, as uh, Senorita Flores was saying, you can truly tell that they're from the heart. They're what people have been thinking and formulating all along the way. And as Robert Celestial, but everybody here said so eloquently, is understanding that at the root of it all is that connection to the land and the sea and that indigenous identity. And for the rest of us, as I've said before, we need to appreciate tomorrow's and the Chamorro homeland beyond as much as we enjoy the dances and those parts of the culture. We need to take the time to challenge ourselves to learn and understand, honor and respect much more than that. And to make sure that it's incorporated in the schools, in our government, in our daily lives, uh, to be part of perpetuating tomorrow's here and their rights and their connections. So I'd like to call up all of the others who are each valuable and uh, have been part of the movements for so long as well to come up here so that we can do a group photo.